excuse me, <laughs> Roxborough State Park. It's uh, April 18th, I think, year 2019. No, Carmen and I went our separate ways, kind of doing our own thing today. So I'm just waiting for my brother to finish up his uh, fly fishing. And then we're going to, I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to Loveland Ski Resort tomorrow. So just landed here from Chicago today, back at one of my favorite spots in the area, which is Roxborough State Park and Arrowhead Golf Course. So if you guys have never been, come get here. What are you waiting for? Yes, yeah, so I've been coming here since, uh, I don't know, 1990, something like that. Colorado's the most beautiful place in the world. I mean, in the United States of America. It's something else. Oh, a lot of bears here, a lot of mountain lions, but they kind of stay to themselves. This is the clubhouse. And, yeah, there's a cool bar up here. You can just hang out. Down over there is where everyone gets married. You got us up here pretty quick, Todd. Man, that's impressive. It's a beautiful sunny day in Loveland, Colorado. I remember when that avalanche came down right about there. Yeah, took out that whole building, you said? Yeah, it's like our, uh, I don't know, 15th, 20th time skiing here together. Yeah, so uh, we still got a half hour to kill before the ski resort opens. So I got to rent equipment. Todd's got his equipment. And he's got some killer ass skis. What kind of skis are those? Volant. Volant? They don't even make them anymore. They're so damn cool. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna rent some skis and some boots. Neither one of us snowboards, so we're skiers. We've been skiers since we were in diapers, practically. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we'll get some footage of us up on the mountain doing flips and stuff, all right? So stay tuned. Thanks for taking his skiing. <laughs> so this is our first run of the day. And, oh, Todd's our second run of the day. I'm uh, just focusing on not dropping the camera right now. <laughs> this is a $900 camera. Uh, we've been coming here for many, many decades. And it's lovely and it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. There's porcupines everywhere. There's a porcupine here, there's a porcupine there. I mean, it's April 19th, and it's just so warm out and beautiful. I feel so lucky to be able to do this. Such gorgeous conditions. You know what, though? It's not by accident, you know? Some people sit in their home all day today, and some people go to love them today. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah. Suspense stuff because they're on a race tomorrow. Oh, is that what that is? Oh, we know what that bomb was, right? That means they're gonna, they're exploding avalanches. They're launching they're, missiles over there. We are under attack. They're, they need to prevent avalanches. Is the exit coming up here or is it much further up? 
are exiting this chairlift. Oh, they got oil. Oh, okay, wow. good. good. That's what I thought. Once you get over this bridge, it's a whole different view. So what do they do up there to, sh to s prevent the avalanches? They shoot mortars. They shoot mortars? Live artillery, yeah. They shoot them. Like, as if you're in a war, they shoot up at the top of that mountain up there? They're probably shooting right over there. God. Yeah. They're probably trying to get that corner to break up. That corner to blow up. <laughs> and sometimes they go on the top and they literally have dynamite and they light it and they throw oh. it over the edge. Oh my God. Yeah. They have dynamite and just throw it over the edge. Yeah, I've seen them do it. Oh my God. Try like, you can see there was an avalanche there. You can see where the bomb landed right in the middle. The cutout? Sort of. See, it's like cut out where that slam up. Yeah. So the bomb landed there and then it slid. You can see where everything slid down. Wow. We're taking our first uh, first beer lunch break here. <laughs> and uh, we're at the top of the whatever you want to call it here, you know. Ty got himself some chili. Yeah, I got himself some bratwurst. I'm gonna put my hat back on. I don't scare you guys with all my hair. So we got we got all that behind us. Top of the world. Top of the world, Loveland Pass, Loveland Basin. Sitting outside, you know, can't beat that. Can't beat that. I'll try and film you slaloming. They're skiing, we're doing it. Woo! The altitude's pretty wild, and the, uh, you know, my legs are burning, but it feels good. <laughs> right? It's gorgeous.
the workout my god oh we're headed to the uh the 420 festival in downtown denver it's uh it's april 20th and they they hold this festival in downtown denver every single year celebration of uh legalization of marijuana i guess What's up, Cheech? Hey, how you doing? Good. anything about this. He never been here. No friggin' way. Wow. Hubba, hubba, hubba. Yeah, maybe we can find some seats. I don't know. Wow. At least it's, it's busy, but it's not too busy. How's that spot over to the right? Place up. I think it's right there. 